Hi everyone, this is Seize. In this video, I am going to be polishing my nails on my left hand only. And I'm also going to be measuring my nails. I don't really have anything special going on other than just doing that, removing this polish and measuring my nails. After this, I'm going to do another video where I polish my nails. And I was going to do pink again, but... I think all of my pictures are pink right now on Instagram. And my videos have all been in pink. So I think I'm going to do purple. I'm going to switch it up and do purple. I like pink and purple. So um, I think I'll do that. <coughs> my son helped me with this video, by the way. He's helping me get supplies and stuff. Because I'm sitting down and I have this table in front of me. And I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Where I just get to sit down and chat with you guys. So this is kind of nice. One of my kids brought this table in my room last night to play Monopoly. We ended up playing chess. And it got a little too late. So we didn't play Monopoly. I told him we would play it today. So while the table's in my room, give me an idea. I may as well just do a YouTube video or two. And I also have these really cool Chinese fingernail um, guards. They they are nail guards, I think is what they're called. And I saw them on TikTok. Someone was mentioning that women used to grow their nails long back in China. And they would wear nail guards to protect their nails from breaking. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. So I did get them. But... Because my nails curve, I'm not able to use them. So I do still have them, and I want to show you guys what they look like. So I'm going to do a video on those maybe later today. So this is not the foil that I usually use. This is the foil that I use for my kids when I want to feed them on these little red baskets that I got from Dollar Tree. I just line the basket with this and then put their food on there like chicken nuggets or fries, whatever. So this is really thin and flimsy. Usually the foil that I like using is really thick and it lasts longer. I can probably use it, mm, I want to say maybe like three weeks, maybe more. Just depending on how well I take care of the foil. And this one's just very flimsy. So I'm probably not going to get a lot of use out of this. I just try to make sure I cut a decent size. I want it to wrap my nail properly and maintain the moisture inside when I use the acetone with it. So I'm just trying to guess where the middle is and just try to do my best at cutting here. Now, I was going to do this off camera so that I wouldn't make the video too long, but I figured it would give me a chance to talk to you guys a little bit more. So, I decided to just keep it in here. Someone mentioned I should do like another Q&A where I answer questions. And I, I said I would, but... Um, I do already have a Q&A out there. If you guys are interested, you guys can listen to that. If you want a more updated one, then by all means, go ahead and drop your questions below. And I will do a Q&A and answer those questions. For now, I can answer a few that I already think you guys are going to ask. How long I've been growing my nails. I started growing my nails when I was 12. And I just like having long nails. A few of the girls in my junior high were growing their nails. And I thought their nails looked super gorgeous. So I started growing my nails after my mom and I had a little, a little situation where she caught me biting my nails once. And um, me regaño. She was like, no te muero de las uñas. And she always tells me not to bite my nails. And I always say, okay. But, of course, I keep biting my nails. I don't listen. So one time, she called my name. And 
I went over to her and then she slapped me. So that's when I told myself I'm going to clip my nails. Hi, buddy. I'm doing a thingy. Okay. So I stopped biting my nails after that. And love you. And then I started growing my nails. So I started growing my nails when I was 12. What's the longest that I've had them? I've had my nails about an inch and a quarter. But... I think it was like eight of my nails were broken, whereas right now I only have four that are broken. And two of those are broken, not because of me. I shook someone's hand and he squeezed my hand really hard and broke two of my nails. And he didn't even say sorry. So there's that. Let's see another question I get asked. I always get asked, like, how do you even do anything with those nails? It's, I can understand why people may ask that. They don't grow their nails, so of course they don't know what it's like. Anyone who grows their nails since they're 12, they can figure out how to do things with their nails. And there are some things that we have to learn to work around, kind of like ATM machines. Once you put your card in there, it's kind of hard to take it out without the help of tape. So I just add tape to the edge of my ATM card, my little whatever credit card. And then when I put the card in the ATM, it has the tape sticking out. So I just pull it on that. I've seen other people do the hack where they use um, like a post-it. They put a little piece of post-it there and then they pull that. I don't use the post-it because I don't see it um, maintaining the sticky part for too long. So I just use tape. For me, it works. Um, and then, of course, picking up coins, you use a piece of paper to lift it up. and kind of like slide it on the piece of paper and then pick it up. Um, there's some things I just can't use, like a fidget spinner. I've tried doing a fidget spinner. There's just no way. Or... Like a butterfly knife. I'm not going to risk breaking a nail doing a butterfly knife. So I don't do that. Um, I'm used to my driving my own personal vehicle. So when I do happen to use one of those rentals, I do break nails on the rentals because I'm not used to driving those vehicles. So I have broken nails um, driving other vehicles. I don't know if that's really my fault or just the vehicle's fault. You know what I mean? You just get used to them. You get used to using your own nails within your own little space. You know? Uh, the other question I get asked is like, how do I wipe? Which I think like, ha ha, okay, funny. But it's like, I hear that so often. It's just annoying now. It's super blah. People can't really come up with anything better than, how do you wipe, you know? And it's very blasé now. It's like, yuck. I wipe just fine. I don't use my fingertips to dig or anything. It's insane that people think that nails are in the way. Gross. A lot of my nail polish, I get asked how much nail polish I have. I probably have maybe like three or four hundred, but a lot of that is old. It's like super old. I don't even buy good nail polish anymore. I just go to Dollar Tree and I buy whatever color I like, which is usually pink or purple or red or black. I'm not into orange, yellow, green, brown, um, whatever other colors there may be. I do buy a lot of white because I have been using white polish as a base coat. So I haven't been buying base coat anymore. I just rely on white polish from Dollar Tree and I do buy the top coat. I still get top coat. 
and I use Out the Door, and I get that from Sally Beauty Supply. And I still rely on acetone. If you want to invest money, invest your money in acetone, because that and diapers will never go out of business. Everybody needs diapers when they're born, and everybody's making babies all the time. So diapers will never go out of business. What else? I'm trying to think of all the questions you might want to ask. Sometimes I get asked, like, what do my kids think about my nails? <clears throat> Excuse me. I get asked what my kids think about my nails. I think that they think that they're cool, I guess. I don't really think they care. Sometimes I'll ask them, like, hey, what do you think about my nails? And then they'll based off of the polish that I just used and they'll tell me that they're really pretty and that I did a good job but they're my kids so of course they're gonna see something really cute and nice I know when I do break a nail and I show them they have this same sentiment that I have which is like Ew! or oh my god they're very dramatic when it comes to my nails if I do break one and I appreciate them for that I think it's really cool that they try to sympathize with me <laughs> I think it's adorable uh am I going to grow my nails much longer no I want to keep them at one inch I don't want to grow them much longer because they're more likely to break if they're longer. Just looking over here, seeing what I'm doing. Usually by the, I start with my pinky nail and I'll work up to the thumbnail. Usually by the time I'm done wrapping the thumbnail it, enough time has passed to where I can remove the polish from my pinky nail this is assuming I'm not using nail glue for gemstones or anything crazy remember when I was using those Hello Kitty gorgeous adorable little uh, I don't know what they're called like little cute nail gems or you know what I'm talking about okay the nail glue for that worked so well that when one of them fell off and it's not like they would just magically fall off I would have to be looking through my purse or taking the dogs out or just doing something any just normal typical task that you would do during the day whatever one of my little charms would fall off it wouldn't just fall off it would remove part of my nail because the nail glue was so good at gluing that stuff to my nail and it wasn't on my actual nail bed it was on como se dice nail polish so it's not like I had bare nails and then I used the glue on my bare nails I had white polish followed by two coats of polish and a top coat and then I applied the nail glue and then the charm so when I would have my little accident and my charm would fall off it would remove part of my actual nail bed and so a lot of my nails, in fact, all of my nails have damage from the charms that I was using. And so, although I love using charms, I do not recommend using them on your natural nails. Definitely a huge mistake on my part. I wish I would have seen a video of someone saying like, Hey you guys, just so you know, although these are super cute and adorable, do not use them on your natural nails unless you want your nails to look like this. And then she could have shown her natural nails like really messed up, you know? 
that would have deterred me from buying them because once you have them you want to use them and when I, I wasn't just using them I was in love with them I was using them every day for like a month maybe even more I really did like them and I still do like them I just don't want to mess up my nails anymore and they're already messed up now I gotta wait for that damage to uh, grow out you know so what I'm I'm gonna show you guys how messed up my nails are once I remove all of this uh, nail polish that is one of the reasons why I stopped showing my nails unpolished because it just does not look good the damage that those charms caused it was not a good thing at all it's hideous Wow, it's already the middle of 2024. This is insane. Before you know it, it's going to be Halloween and Christmas. I'm super excited for Halloween. I'm going to do close up in a little bit. Don't worry about that. Whenever I do videos like this, I always wonder like, uh, I wonder what what would be a good angle and I'm trying to keep you guys in mind so right now I'm kind of a little bit to the right I'm not it's because I was looking at my nail I wasn't looking in the camera but I eventually do fix myself and then I get a little bit closer to you guys so if you want you can just forward it I get a lot of comments telling me they don't like voiceover like they're not interested in me talking and I get comments telling me that they do like to hear me talk it's kind of like a 50-50 I guess you would say so I always wonder if people don't like to hear me talk why don't they just mute it and I don't want to be rude and just ask people Hey, if you don't like hearing my voice, then just mute me, you know? I I guess I just assume if you don't like hearing something, you would just know to mute that person. But I guess that's just me. Sometimes when I'm on Twitch and I'm watching a movie that I don't really like, I mute it because I'm not really interested in the movie. I'm just there to chat. I don't know if you guys do that, but it reminds me a lot back in the 90s when we used to chat on AIM and Yahoo used to have Yahoo chat rooms. Uh, what else? We had ICQ and MSN Messenger. That one was a fun one. But a lot of the times that I would chat, it usually was on AIM, which was the AOL Instant Messenger. And I really miss that. Twitch is one of those platforms where I'm able to chat and everyone is just super, just super chill. Nobody really bothers you or is like harassing you. Nobody's trying to private message you and ask you how old you are or where you're from. Everyone's just really chill and I love that. I took off all my rings and I was going to give my fingers a rest. Usually if I don't take off my rings, I get like tan lines on my fingers. So I was trying to avoid that, okay? Also, I saw on TikTok, there was a lady who had this ring, I don't know for how long, but her skin was starting to grow over her ring and I'm not saying I thought that was going to happen to me, but it kind of made me feel iffy. So I removed all my rings and after a while I was kind of bummed. I don't like looking at my fingers without rings. 
So I was like, okay, I'll just put a little bit of rings on. So I had to, I had to really think about which rings I was going to put on. And so the ones that you see right now, a lot of thought process went into this. And I managed to put on just enough so that I don't feel uncomfortable not wearing anything. This is a very long process here, removing this polish, making sure I get everything. And I almost forgot, I did, after measuring my nails, I had a few nails that were over an inch. So I do file those nails on camera. Forgot I did that. Oh, and I put cuticle oil on my nails. And I do that on camera only to make the video longer. <laughs> I keep bumping the, the little tripod. Whenever I do videos like this, it makes me realize other people who are constantly doing videos with tripods, they have mastered the art of working around their tripod. It can be very frustrating when you're trying to work and this tripod is just in your way and you know you can do so much better if it wasn't for that tripod. And I just think it's great how... Some of these people who create content, they're really good at working around their tripod. That's really awesome. Good for them. Hopefully I can keep this table in my room for a while and I can develop that skill. I thought I was good at it, but I probably just, because I haven't done one of these videos in so long. I'm just not good at it anymore. Guess what? I'm learning Russian right now. I downloaded Duolingo and I have been taking lessons. I'm on my, I think like 73rd day. They give you like, oh, you this is your 10th day in a row. So that's my streak is 73. It's adorable. Okay, right here, I'm buffing the my nails because I can feel that they're rough. I don't know if it's because the acetone is making my nail peel. I know my nails were messed up from the glue, but ever since then, whenever I remove my polish, my nails feel rough. They're not smooth. So I use the little buffer to buff out the hard stuff and it's not like I'm wanting to do this I don't like removing layers but right now I don't even know what else to do so I'm just removing okay if my nails are not smooth when I do apply polish it's going to be bumpy because it's not smooth and you don't want that to happen so So I have to buff it, make it nice and smooth. I don't know what I was doing, but I damaged this little part of my nail. I'm just trying to get rid of it. It's either this or apply nail glue and tea bag to it, which I don't really want to do. Technically, my nails are long enough to I can just clip it clip that little part but then that means I have to do the same for all of them and I'm too lazy for all that drama so it's just easier to kind of hit it a little bit with a little filing file it away
yeah, but after I practice my Russian, I want to do German. And then after German, I'm, I have so many languages I want to practice. Mainly, I want to learn enough so I can talk about my nails in those languages. I don't want to know that language 100%. I only need to learn it like 10% or 5%, just enough to answer questions about my nails and talk about my nails and say, I love my long nails in that language and maybe say things like I'm hungry and I'm thirsty and I'm sleepy. Other than that, I'm good. So I'm going to be using this cuticle oil and I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. There are different types. This one I think is lavender. I can't read it from from what I'm seeing here. And so here, this is the one that I am going to be using. Now I did uh, dip this previously in coconut oil because I have a bottle of coconut oil. And so this is what I'm applying right now is coconut oil that has been sitting there on the brush for probably like three months because I think that's like the last time that I used this actual brush. I just figured I have coconut oil so I may as well just use that instead of using the oil on this little pen. So this is the first time I'm actually winding this cuticle pen right now. You can see it coming out right there. It's like orangey, I guess you would say. Yep. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of these. The reason I did that is because whenever I'm out, I'm always, I'm not trying to say I'm bored, but there's al always downtime. And so having one of these in my purse is always awesome. And when you change purses often, sometimes you are forgetful and you kind of forget to transfer certain things so I got a whole bunch of these cuticle pens in the event that I forget to transfer certain things this will not be one of those things I remember when I first got my driver's license I was asking if they could give me um, extras like I wasn't wanting them for free I was going to pay for them but the lady looked at me like I was a psychopath for even asking if I could get more than one. I don't even understand why it's not a thing. What's it to them if I want five driver's license, you know? Maybe I want to put one in different wallets and different purses. Maybe if they did that, then I wouldn't forget my driver's license every now and again. I'm pretty sure it doesn't just happen to me. And I don't even have a lot of purses. I have maybe that I use often, maybe like four that I alternate, you know? It's not even a lot. I have some that I have. It's not like I collect purses, but I do like purses. And I do have a few. I did notice that you can renew your driver's license in Ohio. You can renew it online. So what I did is I renewed it online and it just used the same picture that I used for my previous driver's license. And I was able to keep my old driver's license because it's not like they're going to have a driver's license police come and take your old one. Or at least I hope they don't. But I do have two driver's licenses right now, which is awesome. Oh, 
Okay, so here's the part that I really don't like. I don't like having to file my nails. I don't know if it's I'm just lazy about it or it's just annoying or boring. But filing my nails is just super boring to me, I guess. I don't even know how to explain it. Who does like filing their nails? Isn't filing your nails like washing dishes? I can't even say like mowing the yard because at least mowing your yard, like working, doing yard work, at least that's relaxing. To me, filing my nails, it's not really that relaxing. It's very blasé. The only way I can enjoy filing my nails is maybe if I'm watching or listening to a podcast or watching a fun movie and maybe I have something yummy to drink or I'm in line and I'm already bored out of my mind and I just bust out a filing thingy and start filing my nails but if I'm in line, my nails are polished and I don't want to I don't want to file my nails while they're polished. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what other questions you guys might ask. I really can't think much right now. Oh, nail care routine. I don't have a nail care routine. People always ask me if I take vitamins or if I do something special. I don't. Um, I take bee pollen, but it's not for my nails. Uh, what else do I do? I drink a lot of tea. I used to drink coffee, but I found out it's not good for you. And I stopped drinking coffee. I also avoid sugar and meat and dairy. Um, I'm not vegan by any means. But when it comes to food, if I'm out at a restaurant... My go-to is usually salmon. If they don't have salmon, then... If they don't have any kind of seafood, then I'll do chicken. Uh, I, I just try to avoid meat in general. So I know I'm going to get a few comments telling me that I'm not filing my nails properly, that it causes damage. Um, I know what you guys mean, and maybe it does cause damage on flimsy nails, and I'm not saying you guys have flimsy nails. When your nails are already thick, treating your nails like this is literally not a big deal. And... I'm actually being really kind to my nails right now only because I know that there's going to be someone out there that's telling me I shouldn't go back and forth and I should only go in one direction and I totally agree that other people should do that but when it comes to my nails I know my nails and I know when I'm being rough with them versus when I'm being you know, not rough. I'm being kind and just normal. And and I'm not saying I have like the most amazing nails ever, super thick and gorgeous. All I'm saying is I know my nails. I know how hard I can go on my nails without damaging them. And I've been growing my nails for a while. And I didn't even use cuticle oil before I even started doing, I started doing YouTube maybe 2013 or 2014. And before that, I never used cuticle oil. I never used like lotions or anything on my hands. 
if I used the lotion, it was very rare. It wasn't like I wake up smothering myself with lotion and cuticle oil. But ever since I started doing my YouTube, I started using cuticle oil. I did not see any difference in nail growth or anything. You want to know how you grow your nails? Go in the sun. The sun will help you grow your nails and your hair. You don't believe me? Okay, check it out. Look at the grass. The grass grows faster when it's in the sun. Fruit grows so yummy and gorgeous when it's in the sun. Tell me your nails won't grow when you're in the sun. You want to grow your nails long, faster? Go in the sun. Don't take these vitamin D or whatever pills. I mean, okay, I'm not a doctor. You don't have to listen to me. All I'm saying is try it out. Go out in the sun and see how that works. If you do dishes, wear gloves. Don't have your hands in water too long. Uh, the water softens your nails and then they start peeling. If you already have that problem, then apply a thin layer of nail glue over your nail bed. And just every two weeks, just uh, file that nail until the peeling goes away. And then you'll be fine. You can remove the nail glue after that. And then just keep wearing your gloves when you do dishes. Stop doing housework without gloves. Gloves are your best friend. And if you can do these two things, your nails will grow. Because you, you're getting rid of the part that's making your nails chip or peel. And then you're adding sun. It's, it's helping you grow your nails faster. As far as the, your nails being thin... The only thing I can recommend for that is maybe getting some of that uh, nail hardener or adding like five polishes of coat on your nails. I don't know what you can do to make them be thicker. It's, it's just genetics. You either have your thick nails or you don't. And anyone who wants to sell you pills that tell you that you're going to have thick nails, I'm sorry, but I don't think there's a way around that. And if you believe otherwise, then that's cool beans. Uh, I'm sure, you know, I'm not going to argue with anyone online about that. But all I know is both my parents have thick nails and I have thick nails and my kids have thick nails. So that's all I can say there. And we don't take anything for the thick nails. It, it, it's just, it's the way it is. So this is towards the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be uploading a polishing video next. Uh, and then I'm going to do another video showing the Chinese fingernail covers. The guards. The nail guards. I'm, I was really stoked when I ordered them. Unfortunately, I can't use them. But like I said, I'm still going to show them to you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will post again soon. Bye!